Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History, written by Vashti Harrison. 1962 to 2011, comic book author and publisher. As a kid, Dwayne loved two things more than anything else, science and science fiction. He entered as many science fairs as possible and read all the comics books he could get his hands on. He always dreamed of one day bringing his passions together to become an astronaut. But in high school, something happened that led him down another path. Just for fun, Dwayne shot a silly film about Batman. Everyone loved it, and Dwayne started to think he could create stories for a living. He graduated from the University of Michigan with a master's degree in physics, but in 1983, he moved to New York to attend film school. One day, a friend told him about a job at Marvel Comics working on superhero trading cards. Dwayne quickly moved up the ranks at Marvel, writing for such characters as Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, and She-Hulk, while creating his own comic called Damage Control. While working in the comics industry, Dwayne noticed that there wasn't a lot of characters of color, and the ones he, he did see didn't seem authentic. Dwayne decided to help make a change. In 1993, Dwayne and other black comic creators formed Milestone Media. There, they could publish their own comics with a range of characters to represent their cultures. They told stories rooted in the issues of the day, racism, violence, poverty, and mixed with the comic book favorites, shape-shifting aliens and giant mutants. Milestone eventually became the most successful minority-owned comic publisher ever. Its comic, Status Shock, was a huge success and got its own animated television series with Dwayne as a writer and producer. He was so good that he was invited to write for other animated shows such as Justice League Unlimited and Teen Titans. Dwayne never forgot his roots, though, and returned to comics to write for the Justice League and Fantastic Four. Dwayne was a true champion for the most inclusive comic book landscape, and through it all, he entertained and enlightened audiences with fantasy and humor.